messages Cause it only reminds me of the past Oh, I love still this drunk I love it so much When you're lonely I don't know Why you keep calling me On my phone Thought I was clear What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jim Rodriguez. Today I am back with another Love Me Hair review. This wig is every, everything, okay? I am in love, in love with this color. I've been itching to do red or something more fall color-y. I know fall is coming. I'm sorry to say the word, but it's coming. Summer's just about over. But this right here, I can rock with this all year long. So I can't wait to show you the specs and get into it. So stay tuned. Now this wig is a brand new release that I don't think is on the site yet, but it's very similar to this dark plum color loose wave, undetectable invisible lace middle part glueless wig. So on the inside, we've got two combs on the side, a comb in the back. We have a band that's not an adjustable band, but it is a band. And then we have the lace. Now, as you can see, the lace is undetectable, but it's lighter than my skin tone. So I'm gonna have to kind of work it out, but it is a really pretty color and it comes with a middle part. Now the part cannot be interchanged, you guys. It cannot be changed to a side part or anything like that but i am going to try to switch it up today and see what we have going on and you know see what the versatility of this wig actually is so let's get into it all right you guys here is my wig boom got that undetectable lace i am going to go ahead and color it like i did with the last wig so i have my juvia's place foundation stick this is in the shade benin 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 i don't know how you pronounce it i'm sorry but i have this the shade that i contour with Got a nice brush. I do use this brush strictly for my wigs. I don't mix my makeup brushes and my hair brushes, okay? But I do keep a couple just in case I have to blend something in and you know, make magic happen. Cause that's what we do, that's what we do. So I'm gonna turn the wig inside out. Nothing new to see here, nothing too new to see here, but I'm gonna turn it inside out and really focus on coloring over the part and on that lace where I know we're gonna see stuff. Boom, boom, boom. We're seeing a difference. Mm-hmm. Get that nice and colored up. Now we're feeling a little bit better about that lace tone. Okay, a little bit better. A little bit better about that lace tone. It's melting in a little bit differently. You see that? Boom. Melting right in. That's what I'm talking about, okay? We're gonna do the same with the cap per the use. Just get that covered where I know that lace is going to be, which is just here to here. Oh, she's feeling like a feisty Betty boot. All right, we've got the wig on. This is the curl pattern that it kind of comes with. So I'm going to get some of the hair out of the way and lay this down. So what I did last time that worked really, really well for me is I just took my edge control, a little bit of edge control, took my edge control brush, which Love Me Hair does provide in the box. So we're thankful for that. I just put a little bit around the hairline just to get it out of the way. Again, you can use mousse but the mousse that I have is a little bit more wet and because we're not doing a wet look, we're gonna stick with this edge control or some gel or something like that. You can even do hairspray if you want, up to you. you guys such is life that I literally deleted the footage of me cutting the lace like the most important part of the video <laughs> I don't have I can't go back in time so I am so 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 sorry but I did use footage from a different video I pretty much cut it the same way my last reviews wig was pretty much the same exact structure so that's exactly what I did with this one and this is what we have going on after the cutting of the lace now a couple things that I did to kind of modify the wig a little bit if you've heard me say this before it's because I describe things audibly and with taste you know what I mean like with different senses but 
but this color is really, really pretty, but the color, the plum goes actually right to the root. And for me, that was a little loud. I know that if a color can make a sound, it's just really loud when the color goes right to the root. So this is my trick on kind of calming the color down so that I can really enjoy it, especially when it's this rich and beautiful of a color. So the first thing I did was kind of add a natural retage of a color um, using a spray on color. So this is from the hair store. This is High Beams Intense Black Spray on Color. So I took a stick or you can use a rat tail comb, whatever you really wanna do. I'm gonna hold the can away from the stick as much as possible and just lightly spray in spurts. So basically what that does is I'm using the stick to block out the part so that way the part doesn't get colored at all, but the area around the part, it just gets a little bit more calm of a color, like my natural color. And that really, really helps me to be able to blend and feel comfortable with a brand new color. So this is something you definitely wanna try. You can also take a brush if you want or your fingers and kind of blend it down if you want to. Mind you, it takes a minute for it to dry, so just be careful when wearing a white shirt or you know, just wearing a shirt that you really care about. You don't want this color to transfer onto it, but it does eventually dry and it looks really natural. Look at that. Bam, that's what I'm talking about. The other thing I did was kind of go through and do more flat iron curls to kind of calm the curl pattern down. As you can see, it comes with a really bouncy, naturally curl pattern. When you wash it, it, it kind of sticks with that curl pattern no matter what. So I kind of took a flat iron and just did some flat iron curls. If you want, I can show you a separate video on how to achieve that. It didn't take me long at all. But as you can see, it kind of just calmed everything down so that the color just lived without you know being overshadowed with you know too bouncy a curl so i'm going to turn around so you can see the links <laughs> let's see what we got going on boom 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 falling at the shoulders we're feeling good you know what i'm saying I said what I said, right? yeah. so those are a couple things that you now have, you know what I'm saying? I couldn't finish the video without going back and making sure that I showed you what I did. I'm so sorry I got deleted. Let's get back to the original programming and I'll show you how I switched it up because you know we got to do a little razzle dazzle when we're dealing with a red color like this. I don't do no fake love. Tell little brush shape up. The way we lit, they throw in shade, but they never say nothing. Bitch, I'm that maze runner. I've been on the stage done. My drip on blade runner. All right, hopefully that didn't erase everything. Just trying a quick half up, half down style to do something a little different and kind of see how the hair looks and how the wig looks around the hairline since I didn't leave a whole lot of baby hairs out. As you can see, it doesn't look too bad and not too wiggy as long as you leave some hairs around the face out. So this is my finished look for my half up, half down. It's not supposed to be pulled back like this, but I think I made it work. What do you think? All right, you guys, that's my video for today. I hope you enjoyed this Love Me Hair review. As we continue our fall look series, I have so many things coming up, so make sure you subscribe and hit that notifications bell so you don't miss a thing. I'm gonna go ahead and share real quick what I love about this wig and what I'm kind of meh about this wig. What I love about this wig is the color. I think this color is absolutely gorgeous. I feel like it's something that will look good with any sort of skin tone. I mean, it's it's just it's just giving me all the fall vibes, and I love it. It's a perfect red color for just about anybody. I actually really like this length. I think this is like more of a 14, maybe 16 inch wig. I like the length. I feel like with this color, sometimes doing too much is too much. So if you're looking for a cool bob type of length, especially with the curl pattern, the 16 inch is really really good for you. I might go ahead though. I'm feeling like. I really might go ahead and get like a 30 inch in this bad boy though. Like I really feel like, especially for fall, if I can get maybe some brown low lights with it, I don't want too much. I don't want it to overpower too much or look like too wiggy or too fake. But man, I'm telling you, I love this color so much. I definitely want more of it. But I think to start, this was a good way to ease my way into this color, okay? We gonna ease on, ease on down the road. <laughs> the only thing that I was kind of mad about with this is the lace. The lace was kind of light. I know it's supposed to be undetectable lace, but I detected that bad boy right away, okay? It was extremely detectable. But the lace itself was really, really thin. It was easy to color. Once I got that foundation color on there, it was just fine. Like I said, I'm sitting under mostly natural light. Well, 
the natural light's going away. It's storming right now, um, but I'm sitting under natural light. I don't have really a whole lot of lighting ahead of me. I have all my lighting in front of me for the most part, but I didn't want too much lighting on me so that we could really see what that lace color was looking like, and it was looking light, I'm just saying. But it was really easy to manage and color and cut once I got it. You all let me know what you think about this wig. Make sure you check out the description box for the direct link to this hair and make sure you use the coupon code GEN20 to save 23% off. Save those coins, boo, okay? Don't miss out on that. Thanks again for tuning in and I will catch you again next time.